I'm Mamie and um, I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about something that is pretty important to me and um, as you know um, I do a lot of visiting of businesses going out to eat with my girlfriends for the hungry bitches um, and I wanted to talk to you about parking um, if you see one of these don't park in that space. That, Unless, of course, you need it. That space is there for someone who can't walk the distance to get to the restaurant or to the store or whatever business it happens to be. My daughter uses a wheelchair. And there have been so many times when we couldn't find a place to park. And we've had to park at the farthest spot away because the other parking spaces are too narrow to get the wheelchair between the cars. So we've parked as far away as possible so no one would park around us and then pushed her the whole way. Uh, also, if you see the lines between these type of spaces, please don't park in those. Those lines are there to give us the room that we need to be able to get whatever mobility devices we need between the cars so that, so that the person who's handicapped can get in and out of their car. There have been times that I've parked in the handicapped spot only to come out and find someone parked in the lines between the spaces and not be able to get my daughter back in the car and have to wait until someone moved so that I could get her in and leave. And the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is parking in front of the ramps. A lot of people don't even realize when they pull up to the curb that they are in front of the ramp. But if you park on the ramp, the person that's in a wheelchair or needing a walker can't get up onto that sidewalk. And it, it's very difficult to maneuver um, someone that's in a wheelchair up over a curb. And I guess one more thing that I'd, I'd like to mention is, is the restrooms. When you see the extra wide stalls, unless you really have to go bad and you just can't hold it and all the other stalls are taken, please try not to use those ones. They're not really there just so you can have extra room. They're there because the people who are handicapped need the extra room. And there have been so many times I've taken my daughter into a restroom and she's had to go really bad, but we've had to wait while someone either uses it for a changing room or is just in there for a very long time that didn't need it while there are all those other spaces that are open. I just wanted to bring this to people's attention. I know a lot of times people don't even realize how hard it makes it. And it's not even sometimes so much about the distance you have to walk, but sometimes it's about being able to get a person in and out of the car. If you've got good legs, use them. And you can't always judge just by someone being in a wheelchair or seeming to have trouble walking. Sometimes a disability is something that you can't see. So don't just judge if you think they can walk. You don't know it might be their heart it might be something else. They might have excruciating pain. But if you are healthy and able to, park the distance and walk. It'll really help out someone who can't. Thanks.